So what's in that medical marijuana edible? A new study finds patients might not be getting what they're paying for. CBS4's health specialist, Kathy Walsh, here to explain. Kathy? You know, Jim, the results make you wonder about the medical marijuana edibles sold right here in Colorado. This particular study looked at medical pot products in San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Seattle. The researchers found you can't always believe the labels on edibles in those cities. You eat chocolate to ease the side effects of chemotherapy or maybe try a drop of a special tincture. They are medical pot edibles. Under Colorado law, they must be appropriately packaged and labeled. But do you know the potency? According to a study in the Journal of the American Medical Association, there is inaccuracy in dosing of edible medical marijuana products in San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Seattle. Of 75 products purchased, only 17% were accurately labeled for THC content, the ingredient that gets you high. 23% contained more THC than indicated, and 60% contained less THC. Here in Colorado, you won't usually find THC content on the products. Until the law changes in July of 2016, Colorado businesses are not required to test medical marijuana and medical marijuana-infused products. But we found out some are doing it anyway. We go ahead and test those medical products because we want to know how much THC we're putting in there and make sure that we're accurate with our dosing. Joe Hodas is with Dixie Elixirs. He says ask your bud tender if a medical pot product has been tested. Experts say overdosing can lead to vomiting, anxiety, and hallucinations. But Hodas says underdosing can also be a problem. If they're using it to treat an ailment, we want to make sure that they have enough medicine in the product so that they get what they're paying for. Hodas says buy from the people you trust. And here's more food for thought. A big research analysis also published in JAMA today says medical marijuana has not been proven to work for many illnesses for which state laws have approved it, including anxiety, sleep disorders, Parkinson's and Tourette's syndrome. And an editorial by two psychiatrists suggests we've put the cart before the horse when it comes to medical marijuana and widespread use should wait for better evidence. We do have some studies that are pending here in Colorado. They mm -hmm. just got the funding, so we'll see. All right, Kathy, thanks very much.